Thank you, President Macron and Secretary General Guterres, for once more rallying our effort in support of the people of Lebanon. One year ago, a catastrophic explosion at the Port of Beirut ripped through the city and the lives of people of Lebanon. On this day of mourning, I send my deepest condolences to all those who were injured or lost loved ones and all those still struggling to recover from this trauma. We also recognize that the people of Lebanon have suffered more over the past year because of avoidable political and economic crises. The United States is proud of our longstanding support for the Lebanese people. I've been to your country many times. It's absolutely beautiful. And today, I'm announcing nearly $100 million in new humanitarian assistance. That's on top of the $560 million in humanitarian aid that the United States has provided in Lebanon over the last two years. And I urge my fellow leaders and capitals around the world to also step up their support for the Lebanese people. But no amount of outside assistance will ever be enough if Lebanon's own leaders do not commit to do the hard but necessary work of reforming the economy and combating corruption. That's essential. And it has to start now, where the government will get to work on prioritizing bringing Lebanon out of this terrible crisis. And if the leaders of Lebanon make that choice, the United States will be here every step of the way to support your efforts to deliver a stronger future for the people of Lebanon. There's no time to waste. You all know it. We're there to help if you do it. Thank you.